All right. Time for the game only I have been waiting for. It's Okoska Wars. Yay! We can watch the nice demo. So, this game's gonna work a little differently than the usual speedruns, where we have this 20 minute time limit. Uh, yeah, so if we take a look at the old speedrun.com page, which I will link in the chat here, you may notice there are some issues. All right, issue number one, neither of these runners are on it. Issue number two, the world record is lower than the time estimate, or sorry, it's higher. So, so that's sort of a bad sign. So they're gonna get started in 10. And I'm not gonna count down to zero, but I could. All right, and away we go. Are we ready for the most exciting 20 minutes? So, once once we reach some combat in this game, I will explain how the combat works. Because it's pretty great. So, on the bottom right, there's these two numbers. Well, that was a very quick loss. There's two, no there's two numbers. There's going to be like a 230 and a... F the number on the left is uh, basically the player's attack power. The number on the right is the enemy's attack power. And then it will sort of use those numbers and randomly determine who wins. And if your king loses, then you die and you have to start all over. And the ratio, it's not like 230 versus 50 is... It's, the ratio doesn't exactly add up, so... What you're gonna see is a lot of resetting and a lot of yeah, a lot of wow you lose. So yeah. so this game has some RNG in it. So there are a couple strategies you can do to to help out. First of all, avoiding fights is a good strategy, which is hard to do because there's a million enemies on all the screens. And another strategy is they're going to try to farm on these orange knights, uh, which Legion just died to. The orange, or the orange enemies, they have 10 attack, so, and you can, you can get the king's attack up to about 230, but sometimes your attack will be 230 and you'll lose to, or, sorry, sometimes it'll be 320 and you'll lose to a 10. So that's, that's sort of how the game works. Uh, so some other strategies you could try is, uh, you can unlock some other soldiers by, they're hidden in the brushes somewhere, so you can, like, run into trees and sometimes they'll, they'll appear. Then you can have them walk in front of the king, so, they'll, like, try to take some of the damage. The problem is that their attack is so low that they'll usually die in, like, two, two fights. It's pretty exciting. Also, you might notice that the frame rate is really low. Like, really low. Uh, enemies won't run into you. You can only... Fights will only start if you run into them. So you could think, in theory, you don't have to do any fight you don't want to. But the problem is... You gotta enter an input way before you move. It's, there's no such thing as reacting. I mean, you can sort of react. It's hard to react because it's like three frames per second. That's that's hard. That's... So and also, okay. So the goal is to at the bottom you see the mirrors counting down. Uh, you gotta get that to zero. So uh, yeah, right now Yogi's doing sort of okay. He's at the 360 range depending on the latency delay. I'm trying to sync it up while I'm talking here. So 
So, yeah, so you're in this rock, rock area and there are these blue enemies. You basically don't want to fight any of them, because... You, you don't want to fight any enemy any like at all, but especially not like the the lower the like the closer you get to the end, the harder the harder the enemies get. Obviously, there Yogi unlocked like a blue knight there. Uh, you can you can switch to on the top. There's a basically you hit a button and it chooses who you're controlling. If it's showing all three, then your your inputs will move all three units whenever you move. Then if you switch to the knight, then your inputs will just move the knight. And, but, yeah. Enemies only move when in certain situations. Oh, Lucha takes a death. Lucha is definitely a more aggressive strategy. So he was further in, he was up to 270, but... Scouting. He might have some, like, crazy strats. Enemies don't seem to move when you're moving at night, or they move less. Some of them don't move. Also, I'm not sure if that's a knight or a soldier. Now he's, uh, destroying the barriers with the knight to unlock, to rescue these, let's call them footmen. He gave me, like, a giant book of notes to read, and I forgot all of it. Knights are the wide dudes, soldiers are the skinny dudes. That's close. Lucha takes death. Just gonna try and farm up early and then catch up to Yogi. Yogi's a very safe strat here. I, I like it. He's got these hidden strats. Look at all these footmen. He's like actually playing the game the way it was intended. Which is just usually a bad idea. And yeah, and in any game that's a bad idea. Farming, farming. You can see that uh, the the white dot at the bottom. That's the. Your, well, I guess it, it really matters. It depends. Uh, oh, and the the K at the bottom. That's your king's attack. Three twenty is the maximum. The king loses. You start over. So here are these. Yeah, these gold enemies. You don't want to fight them. I think they have a hundred attack is way too high for comfort. Yogi's making a... trying to make a wall. He lost one of his, uh, soldiers. The problem is he, he wants to move that top right soldier down, but it's, uh... He can't move it without moving all the other soldiers. Alright, and fun fact, this is actually the first game ever invented that had kiting in it, so... He's gonna try and kite these soldiers away. Oh, that's a fight he doesn't want. Ah! Alright, he's good. It's a 320 versus 100. Always scary. So he only has to win, like, probably 20 more coin flips in order to beat the game. Only 276 meters to go. Alright, Yogi's really surrounded here. Yeah. Another one bites the dust. Yeah, so Lucha, if you're if your knights win enough fights, they can upgrade. And like, oh, Yogi got a upgraded knight too. I didn't even notice. And it's gone. Well, <laughs> the problem is that it's really not worth the investment. Even when upgraded, they're just not strong enough to do anything. And Yogi wins another another tough fight. I don't know what the heck he's gonna do here. He's got nowhere to go. Ah, uh, another. Yeah, Yogi wins another RNG fight. He's trying to get around, but it's, it's, yeah, it turns out there's a million enemies. I don't know, whoever made this game, I mean, no spoil, no spoilers, but bigger jerk than Takeshi, for sure. Yogi tried to avoid, but that might get him into some more trouble. Oh, he's getting around. A cat, a cat. Careful. Okay, 
Where he's going, he's going, he's going. Alright, it's another... This is sort of a breather now. Uh, these blue enemies, I think they're okay. They're not that bad. Alright, now we're in, uh, Arizona. I think that's what Yogi calls it. It's like, let's not put any enemies here. There's just some cactuses. He's, uh, he's bumping into them, trying to search for some random soldiers. Not finding any. Alright, now... So these pink... Oh yeah, it is called Arizona. Okay, the pink, these pink guys have 50 power. And they, but they also, like, straggle away. They're not that, uh... Not that big of a deal. Okay, you found a knight. It's good. Uh, let's see. Lucha is just sort of blasting through. Approaching, approaching. We have ten minutes remaining in the Okoska Wars challenge. Yeah, Yogi just hang around Arizona. His knight's already gone. See, Lucha definitely does a more aggressive strategy. He's just doing king only, relying on his dodging. His king isn't even fully grinded up, up yet, and he's dead. Still, he was 260, losing to 100 immediately. So now Yogi's at the, uh, all these guys only have 10. They only have 10, so he should win all of them, but, you know, should. There's really, you can't dodge them, so. I think that's... He probably wanted some soldiers here because they could take out some of them, but... Alright, looks like he's still okay. He's getting there. Alright, found a soldier. Which dies again. Yogi's just sort of fiddling around with the menu, trying to figure out if he wants... Alright. He's getting his bearings. Now for the last hundred meters. This is, uh... It's getting exciting. Now if you thought the, uh, other parts... Yeah, you'll see... You'll see what the problem is here at the end of the game. Uh... And he's checking for some more soldiers. He's getting nothing. This me the mechanic of finding knights in random trees is not so good. Okay, so here's the problem. Yeah, you can't really, like, evade anything, because everything's in the these small corridors. So he's gonna try to pull these two guys out and get around them. Uh, which is, you know, it's a noble attempt. Now, the problem is that there are a lot more than two in this corridor. Alright, so there... I don't... He might need to find more cover here. Alright, he's going further backwards. Maybe you can sneak in. That looked dangerous. Alright, he might... Okay. Jukin and Jivan. Okay. Oh, that's a fight. He didn't want that. Alright, he's okay. He's okay. Still alive. <laughs> and there's another guy there. Yeah, this... So on the on the top, the that blue square equals 150. That's how many enemies are left. Not to the left of him, but. In theory, you could kill all of them. In theory. Uh, so, next year... 100%. Ah! Uh, and he loses. Well, Yogi, you should've, uh... Should've, uh, hit the left button harder, I guess. 
Pretty good though, 75. Let's see if Lucha, Lucha still has time, he can barrel his way through. He's got 320. Can he reach 75? See, I respect the way Luna does it. Just, just go, just go, go, go. Okay. Uh. No, and what do you lose? Well. So six minutes left. I think you can. I think there's still a chance to reach it. Wow, you lose. Such a great screen. King Ogreth. That's too bad. I still haven't seen what the if there's like a, if this game actually has a last boss. I'm assuming yes. I mean, I could just watch the run on speedrun.com, but I I prefer it. it's like it's an exciting thing that I'll one day find out. I find it hard to believe this game has a loop, too. There must be some... I'm, I, I refuse to believe that this is how the game's supposed to be played. There's some mechanic everyone... Literally everyone's missing. Like, second player controller does something cool. Because this is ridiculous. You have to use Game Genie. I don't know. Alright, like, honestly, this is probably the worst game I've ever seen. The only good thing about it is the while you lose screen, which is, of course, phenomenal. It actually sort of makes up for the whole thing. Alright, four minutes left. I would say Jekyll and Hyde is considerably better than this. It has like two songs. The songs have like uh, more than like two channels or uh, I don't know what they're called. Yeah, this song is no good. This song does not. Sometimes you need songs to carry the game. This one does not. Oh, it's it's definitely intriguing. This game. Is very intriguing. You know, this game is really real. It's like, if you actually went to war against hundreds of people, you'd be destroyed. You'd, you'd have no chance. And this game is really, it's really uh, the most realistic game. Oh yeah, also the king can just like walk through trees. It's a nice Easter egg. Easter egg, or possibly not an Easter egg. Anyway, he's a skilled lumberjack, is what I'm trying to say. Look at him go. Go, Lucha, go! Is that the mountains? Uh huh. Juking and jiving. Uh oh, the guys got released. Weird ghoul master. Oh no, wow, you lose. So, I mean, in terms of speedrunning, we just need everyone to play this for like a week. And everyone just like hold left until you die. And then eventually we'll get the perfect run. That's. That's really all that needs to happen. We need to, We need just. We need manpower. Like everyone, everyone get on board. Here we go. Well, I mean, even if they knew how to play it, I don't think that would help. I still, I no, this can't be how to play it. This can't be the game. This is, they did something wrong. 
they like entered a secret code and this is like an easter egg game but not the actual game this is still just the demo this is like yeah i don't know it's like in blades of steel where in the between periods you play you shoot him up radius or whatever this is that this is between periods where's the real game All right, one minute left. Oh, 20 minutes. That's exact length of a hockey period. Wow. I don't think Leech is gonna get there. He wow you lose again. He's gonna take out some gold knights. Bam, bam. Fighting, fighting. B. I like how there's a B, and he's dead. Wow. Was that the longest 20 minutes of anyone's life, other than mine? Oh my god, there's still 10 seconds. Ah! Oh wait, no, it's probably over because of lag. Yes. Alright, yeah, Tim indeed. This, this game deserves that. So I hear if you donate a bunch of bits that they'll go into overtime, I think. Someone told me that. Uh, maybe I made that up. Maybe. Let's see if that works. Anyway, the winner of this match is Yogi with a final uh, distance of 75 meters. Pretty close. Yogi said 70. Like, we get it, Yogi. You won. I'm going to have to... Yeah, I don't, Yogi's demo is great. It doesn't do anything. I was like, why does the demo do that? But Lucha's moves around. It was very confusing. He's probably using a hacked version. That's probably why he won, actually. Honestly, that's a good way to get the world record in this game, is just use a hacked version. That might be the best strategy. I can't... Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, okay. 